we have the Hawaiian Humane Society here. Um, they're taking whatever dogs could not go with their owners into shelters or have been left behind because most in a lot of cases people had nowhere to go with their animals. There's lots and lots of animals being taken, lots of them. The Hawaiian Humane Society, by the way, is not known for being really humane. Um, most of the animals they take are killed very quickly. In this case, they say they'll be holding them for nine days, but I don't think nine days is quite enough to um, find homes for the animals if they even are uh, doing so, which I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. I think she's up at um, James Dem's house up there, I think. Are you guys looking for her? Yeah. Do you want to ride up there? Sure. Okay, jump in. Midori, you mean? We walked all the way down from Keao. Oh my goodness. To find her, because we told her we would help. Oh, right on. You know what? And we talked to some of the people along the way that are up there. Oh, here, Tita, can you can you do me a favor instead of my having to tape this on my window? Here, come come inside. Can, could you run this for me? Because just just hold it. I want to document, and I'm not allowed to hold and drive at the same time. If you can just aim it towards the, the police and whatever action is happening. It's hot. Yeah, I know, I know. It's very hot. I don't see how these people can live in this heat down here. I know. Are you folks from town? No, sea country. Oh, right on. Do you know people out here too? No. A couple. Oh, okay. We met a couple of people. Right on. Okay, so let's kind of check out what's going on here. Uh, we're just passing all the Humane Society trucks on this side. There's a lot of police on the other side. There's police all over. Um, basically making sure that nobody's able to stay in their homes. People's homes have been reduced to rubbish. I've seen you before. My name is Laulani. So I've seen you uh, testify at the city council. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, so what's going on here? Um, the city is uh, not giving the residents any more time to move and they're taking their stuff. That's what we see happening here. Here's a family struggling to move. How's it, Jamie? There's, these people are trying to move. Jamie that we just passed, she takes care of animals that people, people bring out animals out here. People who do not live here bring out animals to dump and she takes care of them. And she has a whole bunch of very well taken care of uh, dogs out here that now have no place to go. A bunch of city people and news. Well, we came down to volunteer to Kokua Care and the Humane Society. They wouldn't accept our help. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, because they're just, they're basically just trapping animals. They're just grabbing animals and they're taking them. There's lots of them, lots and lots of them. They wouldn't accept our help. Yeah. Um, I don't think they really want what they're doing to be that well documented, honestly. It's, I think it's pretty bad. I mean, I might be biased. Well, I asked if, if we could do some haircuts, cut some toenails, depict some dogs, you know, so they could get rehomed. Uh, it doesn't, that's, that's kind of useless because they're going to kill them all. Not if they could find a home if they're all cute. 
Well, with the quantity of dogs, they only hold the dogs for nine days. Okay, here's somebody who's struggling to get the last things. Oh, oh. Oh, the Sorry, we're just the kind of just documenting what's going on here with the cops. Right on, aloha. <laughs> okay, here's all the cops. Oh, parking on the road. Okay, thank you very much. This is an area, this is a pool nua down here. They've kind of Where do you think what's her face is at? Madori? Yeah, I'm looking for her. I don't see her. Well, look at all his shoulders. I know. Where are these people supposed to take their animals? You know, they say that they can go to shelters, but they can't take their animals to the shelter, so there's no alternative. Okay. I've seen a lot of these people before. Why and I? You know what, I'm just gonna park here for now. If they tell me I cannot, then I will then I'll move. Let's try to find her. Okay, here. Thank you very much. Thank you for the ride. Yeah, no problem. Is this open? Yeah, you know, lift up and then out. Oh. Okay, let's see, do we still have yeah, we're still going. Okay. Uncle, is there any way I can ask you? I'm trying to just kind of let people know about what's going on over here. This. Can you go where you go at? No, we came down to help. Yeah. 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 How how are things? <laughs> how how are things going this morning? They're pretty much pushing people out, huh? Yeah. Yeah, I know everybody's tired. Oh, the cute. Oh, look at. Oh, that's a hot dog. Their hot dog is holding I thought it was one of those little oranges, those little. Little hot dog. Are you gonna eat it? Um, can 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 I ask? Is there a, is is there a concern like people out here who have dogs? It seems like there's no place that people, you know, they're saying in the news, oh, well, those people can go into shelters and stuff like that. You cannot take yeah, your dog into yeah, shelter, I, right? Yeah. Yeah. Why not? Why not? This country. Yeah. There's no shelter would accept uh, a couple of families with their own dogs. Oh, they so, should make that. You yeah, have to find your place with family with their dogs. You never want to live in this. They should make that. Well, well so, uh, make it basically, like I said earlier, Abercrombie is okay. really a lot of people. And, uh, that's how you became a family. Because if you made the site, they wouldn't accept our help. Oh, wait, hang on, hang on. You got the money part. 
You got the money. You got all the votes, or I don't vote, but you know, that's why I don't vote. They say they're going to do something for the people. They don't do it after they get in office. The minute they get in office, like, get it. And I believe the reason why they're doing this is because the election is coming up. Yeah. No, we already got it under control. Election day is coming up, so that's, that's why they look people off there. Because sure. people live here like 15 years, yeah, and longer. And look at Tom Berg wants to get those shipping containers for people with land, two acres or more. That's why he needs to get reelected so he can put all these shipping containers. Okay. That's can what I, we need. Can we need a shipping container. That would be nice. Yeah, you do that too. I'm gonna be on. You wanna tell me how you feel? I already did that. This thing with the Teleton News. I added. I added. I added. I I'm a community videographer. I am the voice of the people. That's who I am. I own Makaha Angels Production. You know, like, as a voice for our people. The one who speaks very good for us is right there with the ticket shirt. She knows. She feels for the people and for Animal she she tells the animal she Where are you guys gonna go where are you guys gonna go? And they're nice, they're painted with the windows. Somewhere up Pacero. Where the cops took it chasing back out. Yeah. A friend is letting us uh, stay on their property. Uh, yeah. this, this island is not for the locals anymore. Yeah. Yeah. Off the tourists. You know, when tourists, so you better have money, otherwise you're out of here. What do you think about the rent being so sky high, you know, and that's, I'm that's sure what that's makes it hard, because not everybody can work, and they only need work what they get every month, like me. I only get, uh, I have disability SSI, and you what? I have disability SSI, and that's the only income How does it feel to be treated like this? Uh, up because uh, we help each other here and uh, they don't care to understand what people's situation is, how hard it is to get home and yeah, find home. Gym. I agree. And how long you guys was living on the beach, Tara? Um, about two years. Two years. Yeah, well, you guys from the side? Yeah, they know. They were there. Anyway, but we live on the same. But I was living at the landlord was uh, one of the church people right there. Oh, yeah. So I did the two-story house first and we did the you know, studio on a green bin to me. I called those about, people. Um, okay. We can have up there to me the whole house. The downstairs of the house is four bedrooms, a turning to three bedrooms, so the old walls, plumbing, everything. We could have led an eviction. And she was part of our church. Uh, church members. And she, yeah, and, you they know, pray over people. They pray over house. people that like prayers. She needed prayers. Because, like I told her, the guy's a bunch of hypocrites. I mean, my grandmother was just uh, one of the only women pastors on this island. I know what the, Indian, the Christian way is. What they did to us, this is the Christian way. You got what you wanted. So it's like they used us to get the house fixed and then kick us out, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then the family can move in the other side. Hey, mahalo. Right on. I, I'm glad you folks are still hanging in there, taking care of your your um, ohana here. Got her with the coat I got her with the coat in the car. No, no, but in the back. In the back, I got him. You got her with the 10 ton makeup. See, look him, look him. We'll go back that way. What happened? What happened? All right, you guys. Well, you guys, there. God bless you guys. <laughs> That gives the guy, the, gives the city the right to take it. Gives the city the right to take it, and he takes it to their storage. Um, and then that guy in the storage, he makes the determination what is right, what and what is good and what is no good. Oh, I and didn't he, know that. He gonna determine if he wants to give you back your stuff or not. He determines that, not you. He does. It. We gotta know the law on that thing, man. That's what's happening right now because these guys over here that's 
occupying and thanks to them they come here they occupy and that's what's happening that's why you play on game it's a big game you know that's all it is to them it's a game to me it's just life it's not game this is life you know what i mean you know you should, never, you should have never had done that way you should have never extended this far you should have done more to help you know and, and, uh, yeah and i am man you know and that guy tom tom burke yeah he the start of everything no, but he, 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 he like helping No, he not, fuck He's not. helping. No, no. Why? He's, because when the papers are served to me, his name was on first. He, the cons, he is the corporate counsel that allowed all this to happen. His name was on everything. He, he, he supported Bill 54. He supported okay, wait, Bill 54. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Let me get this action right there. That's hang right. On, hang on, hang on. I mean, hey, come on, man. Let's point the finger at the finger that's being pointed. Okay. You know, this guy coming in here and, 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 I mean, I mean, you talk about... You talk about a sheep, a wolf in sheep's clothing. You know what I mean? A guy come over here supposed to be help us guys. He ain't helping nobody. Why are you guys? What are you guys saying about Tom Berg? Tom Berg supports Bill 54, which allows them to come here and take our positions. That's what it is. He supports that bill. Corporate council. They guys say corporate council. What's a corporate council? They they are public servants. They're no corporate. This is not a corporate. This is the public. We the public, the people, and they made this law to take my stuff, yeah, come over here, take them, and then they tag it, and they'll take it to that guy, whoever holds it, and there's this one guy on this whole island that holds all the stuff, and he determines, he determines whether your, your things is good or your things are bad, and in that determination, he also determines whether he's going to give you back your stuff or not. Did you hear that they oh, took okay. one guy's leg? Okay, you got him. The uh, handicapped guy and took the his amputee leg. What the, the, the Samoan guy? What you mean they took his leg? Oh, they took it. his amputee. my brother. They took his amputee leg. They took his prosthesis. That's what it is. They took his prosthesis. And in the pro in a, in, a, in the removal of his prosthesis, they never give him back. Uh, yeah, they took his prosthesis pocket. Apparently, they they took it and threw it away. They took they took the prosthesis leg and they um, threw it away. From what I've heard, you know, it was uh, it, it, and it was the guy's right that the individual that takes all the goods that is for the city and county that is being tagged, all the goods that is being tagged goes to one place, and that individual over there determines whether it is it is deemed good. Right. That's right, and and he also determines whether he should give you back or not. Yeah, he determines that. Uncle, how does this feel for you? Hello, I feel violated, you know? I feel like somebody coming in over here and screwing my ass. How would you feel if somebody came over here and screw your ass like that? You know, you love it? You go say, oh, thank you very much. You can come back tomorrow and do it again. You know, thank you. And yeah, the worst of it is, is it's our government. You know, it's, it's, it's our own organizations coming over here doing that to us guys. The people that we support, that I vote for, our city councilmen. This guy Tom Bay, Barry Joe, and then what's her name? Uh, 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 Gerber, you know? Gabbard. Gabbard, you know? Gabbard, her too. You know what I mean? How dare they make shit like this happen to us, the people? You know what I mean? They're going to stop and think because you know why? I tell you why. A lot of those people, they come over here, they rah, 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 come here, give me a vote, give me a vote. As soon as you get the vote, what happens? You never see them again. They're never around. You come over here, you, they're not in touch with the people, they're in think? touch with themselves. Do you think because uh, it's an uh, election year, do you think that's why they're having this sweep? Every big uh, election year, it seems like they're having a big They got to do sweep. a push, right? They got to show the people that they're doing their job. You know what I mean? And a lot of, a lot of times, people that come over here do this, it's not the community, it's people from other places. You know, people that came from the mainland, came from here. You think Hawaiians would do this to Hawaiians? Hawaiians never own land. Hawaiians use the land, and then when they pop, they, they move on, and somebody else come use the land. Oh, I never had ownership. Ownership is a white man thing. The United States ownership came over here, put boundaries, put, put fences, put all this kind of stuff. That's what it is. Yeah. Lanny, what's happening? How you doing, my man? <coughs> you look dirty. Uncle, you look dirty. I, fuck yeah, man. I went, uh, you know, I was looking at some of the gardens that you planted, that other people planted. It seems like people made a pretty solid effort yeah, so to... Yeah, right you would for the animals, we, right? Hello. Yeah, Hel wait, 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 we made us a home, you know, in this 
wilderness. You know what I mean? In this unimproved land. You know, and it's supposed to be that they call parks. Yeah, this that's what it is. This is our land, all this we try to make it as comfortable and as nice and as good as we can. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I come here and throw rubbish. Yeah, but yet this used to be on rubbish dump before. Before we come this was on dump. You know, I was only here a year. I have friends that been here longer. You know, you know, you know that was here and, 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 and this is a smoggish bog for stealers. Uh, rip-offs, you know, uh, dump drugs and all, everything, you know what I mean? But but we come, we try to make it a home, and now the guys come, ah, you know, kick you out. Yeah, if you say you mad, sure I'm mad. I've been violated, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. My rights been, yeah, mm -hmm. right been violated. Everything been violated. Yeah, it's not my land. It's not really, but they, what they're doing? The public, the department of DPP say that they, they, own, they, they have the lease on this place. How long have they had the lease? What did they do with it? You know, there, there are certain stipulations that, that are required within the lease. And one of the stipulations is giving us, we the people, access. Public right-of-ways. Do you see any public right-of-ways? Nothing. You know, do you see the carrying of the aina? Nothing. You know, you see the carrying of the awufwa? Nothing. You know, and then now they say that they're going to comply to the lease. And they're going to do what they're supposed to do? How long have they had the lease? What, 40, 50, 60 years? You know what I mean? For 40, 50, 60 years, they never do shit. Now they're going to say they're going to do something about it. They're going to do, they're going to comply. So they like renew the lease. Oh, hello. You never do shit. And now you're going to come back, you're going to do something. Why should we, the people, renew the lease? How can, this, how can the Department of Land and Nature, Natural Resources review and give them back the lease? That's totally wrong. You know, they should let these people know that we have this. We have a group here, the people that live here. We'd like to make a corp. Come over here and take care of the Aina. You know, and stewardship the thing. Who knows what we can do? Who knows what we can, you know, what, whatever. Ask people to come help. Who knows? Yeah, there's a lot more other avenues than what the public. And you know what? If we do it, we're not going to take that much money. Because everything is about money. You know, when it seems like you folks were already doing stewardship. Yes. Yes, we were. And, and where I was, you know, I cannot speak for everybody, but I speak for myself. Yeah, I had a little pond out there. It was like an aupua where the small fish would live. I had tidal pools. You know, I mean, nature comes through. Nature does what it does. You know, and, and, and the seasons come, the seasons go. In the summertime, when the, when the, when the waves are small, you know, you, it, you can set up this and give the fish the time to grow. In the wintertime, when the waves come big, the ocean comes through, the waves knock everything down, they blow them through. It's, a, it's an ongoing thing. You need to build it, break it, build it, break it. You know, so... Yeah, you need the stewardship, you need the watching. Nobody else can do that. You know, and plus, I'm a long time resident of Ohia, why not? I know a lot of people. So when they come by and they say, Oh, I'm taking care over there. They let them go. You know, they go more down. Okay, uncle, we leave your place and we go more down. That's all I ask him, brother. Give time for the thing grow. Give time for the thing. Nourish yourself and move. So get plenty for all. You know what I mean? No need to rob them and take to the last. When you pick the limo, you don't need to go to the roots. When you go to the roots, the thing dead. No more, no more limo. You know what I mean? Somebody got to watch the roots. Somebody got to maintain the roots so that it is not only there for me, but my children and my children's children and my children's children's children. So that they can come over here and enjoy the same, the same thing that I enjoyed as a young man, as a young boy, you know, and as a grandfather, you know. Same mm -hmm. thing. I can bring my mopunas over here and enjoy it. No, you cannot. The thing so pass up, so ugly, you know, so un unkept, dirty, you know, whose fault is it? They gonna blame us? We don't hold a lease on the place. The DPP holds the lease. And they never do nothing. I live here all my life. I've never seen the city and county come on this, this over here to do any cleaning whatsoever. And in the last what, month, now you, you have pictures. You see how much people came from the city and county? Uh, first time in, uh, in history that why not they had this so much county at one place and the, and the police department you know? and the police department you know but you think this was a riot the way they came away like we were we were you know we were I mean we were criminals or something you know I mean, Vietnam dead you know I fought I put myself in harm's way so that so that these laws and people can come over here and do this and come over here and do this you know it's, this is like I said, it, it, this is a violation of, on me, 
You me as a Hawaiian man in this world we call United States, you know what I mean? It's violation. It's a violation altogether, you know? You know, I, I, I feel violated. I feel, you know, I feel dirty because they, they, they fucking me, you know? I feel dirty, you know what I mean? And I like fight, you know what I mean? I like fight. I like repel in any way I can and the only way I can. But yeah, 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 you know, you know, your mouth. You know, you vala out, you know, Hawaiian, vala out, vala out, vala out. That's all you can do. I can only vala out. That's all I can do. Nothing else. Nothing else. Nothing else. You know, it's, everybody's concerned with their own selves. You know, if us Hawaiians unite together in one cause, we are uh, unstoppable, unstoppable motion. You know, if we only unite in one cause, that's all it takes for us Hawaiians. One cause. One representation, and us guys be united in everything, you know, and we would move heaven and earth. I do believe that, man. Honestly, I do, because we are emotional people, you know, and 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 a lot of times we act with emotion, which right now I am very emotional, you know, which is sometimes hard to restrain oneself, you know, and and, and that's the and that's and that's the bottom line. So the guys, they broke the confidentiality, eh? That organization. What? That, well, they're from the Comprehension Health Center. There's organizations that came out here and, uh, you know, they say that uh, confidential, confidentiality, everything that I tell them, everything will hold in the strictest confidence, they're not going to tell nobody. But when they came serving the paper, this particular organization was the first with the police department pointing out who, what, when, where, and why. Oh. They gave names? Well, not names, but. They pointed out, yeah, how many people over here and how many people over there. You know what I mean? And yet, they're supposed to have the confidence. We're supposed to have confidence that they're not going to do that. And they broke the very, the very thing that, that they said they wasn't going to do. You know, they're not going to, you know, take everything into confidence and they won't say anything to nobody. They did it. They did it. They broke their confidentiality. If I had every ways and means, of it, if I was Rockefeller, man, and I had all the money in the world, I'd sue her, I'd sue the department, I'd sue the state, I'd sue everybody, you know, for, for the injustice, the injustice that they did to the people over here, you know. I mean, you know the dilemma that they put everybody through, you know, you know, the, man, I've seen, I've seen people fighting, you know, because the husband and wife arguing, I'm married 37 years, and we're arguing about this thing, you know what I mean, you know, mm -hmm. you know the pressure that they put on you, you know, as individuals, you know, as family, as communities. You know what I mean? To break apart the communities, break apart, you know? And they, and they call this, and they call it right. Hmm. Call you, it right. you know, I noticed that over there where Tita is uh, filming, um, you have, uh, you have uh, the uh, Hawaiian Nation flag, and then you also have a paddle there. Can you tell me about what the meaning is? Well, it's a broken steersman paddle, yeah? The broken order, yeah? That. Uh, that I was told by a group, which I never knew that law existed, you know, then it's, and it's on, it's on our, it's on our uh, constitution, the Hawaii constitution, yeah, uh, statue, and, um, you know, um, being that we have that law here in Hawaii, I guess we are unique because the rest of the United States don't have it, only us, because we're Hawaiians, you know, and Kamehameha I evoked that law, you know, so what I'm doing now with that, is I'm doing the same thing. I'm invoking my right to that law. You know, and if the city comes and the state comes or any organization comes and they kick me off supposedly their property, fine, I will yield to their to their demands and, and their laws and I will move myself and me and my property off their off their property and I invoke my right. Just like how that guy in in court right now is invoking. I mean, in the United States, in court, he invoking his Fifth Amendment right. Yeah, to not talk. You know, but me, I'm not gonna invoke that because I like talk. I put I like talk. I like everybody hear these. Yeah, but I, I'm here to use that law that Kamehameha set forth that no man can, no man, no chief or priest can remove me from this road. No chief meaning no body stronger than me. Nobody with authority. No organization, no religious group, no religious organization or a person to call himself religious can come over here and evoke or take or hurt or murder me from doing what I need to do here. 
and that's the right that I'm doing. I'm invoking my right on that, you know, so, so that I get grounds. And, and you know, Kamehameha, he give me grounds to stand on. I'm proud to be Hawaiian, proud to be American too, yeah? But Hawaii first, because this is my aina. That's right where I come on. from. Right on. Mr. Ruffles, I think uh, the news wants to talk Hi, to you. I'm Moani Keala from KITV. How's it? How are you doing? You. Yeah. Would we be able to speak about um, sure. you know, what you're feeling today? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Where, where was uh, the area that, that you... Right there. This one right here? Where the flag and the splintered paddle is. Okay. That's my flag. That's my flag. Oh my gosh, Makaha is so pretty. You know, you guys, we, we, we can walk in there? Uh, I don't think so. I think we should no. stay on this side. Yeah. We, yeah. we cannot walk in there. That's right. But walk inside there, I'll show you what I did. I'll show you what I did, you know, to take care of the Aina. Yeah, make an all for her, for the, for the fish out there. You know what I mean? I can show you what I did over here. My wife and I make plants. We make this. You know, we, we, we try to make it as, as, uh, as comfortable as I can because, you know, I love my wife. So you try to make it for her. Like How long have you been here? I've been here about a year. Yeah. But I have friends here, they've been here for longer than that. I've been here for almost 12 years. And yet, I've lived on this Leeward Coast from 1959. You know, I live here. And I've never seen the city and county come over here clean. Mm. Never. Mm. I even work for the state Department of Transportation. And this used to be the Department of Transportation company. So who holds what jurisdiction? Mm -hmm. You know? And then, I never knew a lot of the things that are happening until now, you know, and, yeah. and, and I did research, you know, technology, sorry, sorry. technology is so great, you know, now you Google, yeah, and I brought up the archives, you know, and brought up who owns this place, who what, this place was set aside 1927 by a degree by Congress and sign into proclamation. Let me, uh, let me start off with getting, uh, having you say your first and last name and spelling it for us. Yeah. Okay, I did uh, uh, Channel 2, I did. Oh, no, this is Channel 4. Oh, yeah. yeah that's a different one. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Yes, uh, I guess we're going to start this thing. My name is James uh, W. Raposa. Uh, J-A-M-E-S, and W is my middle name, Wood, W-O-O-D. And my last name is uh, R-A-P-O-Z-A. Yes. Tell us about what you're seeing today, you know, seeing the place that you've lived in. Well, you know, it's, 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 you know, it's, 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 you know, what can I tell you? I've been violated. It's like somebody came over here and, and, and literally, you know, violated me, you know, by walking into my house, doing something. I know I don't own the place, you know what I mean? But I care for it, you know? Talk about I, how you care yeah. for it. What kind of well, things Well, um, I, I try to make it as... My wife, she puts plants inside. I try to take care of the fish in the front, you know, and try to watch uh, where they don't come, you know, people would come by, the public, because public has public access, public rights. You know, and they come down and they start picking the opihi. Oh, but uh, opihi is small. Let them grow, let them grow. You know, oh, okay, uncle. You know what I mean? You know. try malama then. Of course. You know what I mean? That's what it's all about. You know, and, and, you know, try to share for that. For me, my children, my children's children. You know what I mean? You know, hey, you can take so much. Boom, no, no. You know, no, 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 take them all. It's like you pick a limo. You can take the top, but no need to pick the root. So, so it sounds like, back. Um, you know, it sounds like you, you have a connection to the land, and you, you were kind of carrying, carrying out. Um, this was part of your kuleana trying to take care of, like, trying to mala mala. Yeah, the easiest way to say is, yeah, uh, Hawaiian. You know what I mean? All Hawaiians take care of aina. If you don't take care of aina, you know aina will take care of you. You know what I mean? So yeah, yeah, I'm Hawaiian. You know, and I'm also, I'm also a Vietnam vet, you know what I mean? Yeah, I went to Vietnam where I never liked go, but there was our, like Mama them said, that is that, that you have to do, we have to go. So they never give, Mama said, they never give you milk, they never give you this, but I had to go fight because that is the right thing to do. And I did that, you know what I mean? And to come back here and to have something like this happen, you know what I mean? Even though I, you know, I'm homeless like this, but to have this happen, for what I did to the, for the country. And I said, put him in my and come here and do this to our place. How long have you been here? Ah, uh, in a year. You know, I mean. What, what, what happened? Well, uh, everybody get their own story, yeah? You know, as to why you're here, you know? Uh, we all have our own perils and, and things. And 
and, and certain things happened to me personally, you know, within 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 my family, you know, which I really like to say, but 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 circumstances out of my control, I was put here, you know, and and I was for, not forced, but I had no other options. You know, when you when you look at the options that you had and you run out, you know. Um, like all Hawaiians, I can always go to the beach, always go back to the island. But now we cannot because our government say you cannot do that. That right is no longer yours. When I was a young man living, I mean, I lived in all my life. We moved in Waianae in 1959, you know, so I live here a long time. I know plenty of people. Where are you uh, planning, I mean, now that, you know, your uh, home is no longer there, what's your next step? Only God knows. You know, I leave it up to the Lord. Yeah, He can provide. You know, he's going to provide. I had things, I had things never fall through. It's all right. I give them to the Lord. He's going to give me something. Where, you where are you going tonight? Uh, well, uh, I don't like to tell you, I don't like to say nothing, because what if I go, I come back over here, I go someplace else, and the Lord waiting for me to go do something, you know? I, I, I really cannot tell you. Do you have a plan? Uh, well, yeah, I have a plan to give it to the Lord, and the Lord's going to help me. You know what I mean? He's going to hire me and provide. I really don't have a plan, you know what I mean? Uh, I'm just going to go with the flow. Okay. You know, I'm just going to go with the flow. Okay, Uncle Jay. Yeah. Hey, Uncle Jimmy. See you guys. Uh, yeah, you know what I mean? All the years that I live here, I've never seen the city come. You know, this is park and recreation that's coming over here doing this. This land belongs to the Department of Land and Natural Resources. And the DPP who's, who is doing this to us say that they hold, they hold the lease on it. Okay, if you had the lease on it, you didn't maintain it. You didn't, no, no, no. You didn't comply Just to, tell the, me to what, the intent yeah. of the lease. And the lease is still good. And I read the paperwork, yeah. And a lot of the people that do have leases on this property. You know, there's homestead land here. That road there is, is Kehau Homestead Road. You know what I mean? I didn't know that. You know, and, and it's just like this, this law about the broken panel. I didn't know that. I took these guys to open up my eyes to it, you know? Would you um, ever consider going into a shelter? You know, about my shelter, man. You say, come to my shelter, come to this country. All right? But then you come with stipulations. You can, you cannot. You got to do this, you got to do this. Take piss tests, look at this. Oh, ho, 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 ho. You like me come, you like me this, but you let me come on your terms. Is that freedom? It's not freedom. You know what I mean? The whole thing of it is, is to be free. And what is free? We don't have choice. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? We don't have choice. You know what I mean? That's what we fought for. Freedom of choice to choose. You know, to decide for yourself. You know, not to say that, yo, you got door one, door two, door three. That's not choosing. That's not choice. Because the government is giving me the choice that I got to choose. I got to choose their choice. Mm -hmm. not They're not my giving choice. you much. No, they're giving me. That's why I always tell people like this. How do you control without controlling? By controlling the choices. You still get control. Mm -hmm. Is that freedom? It's not freedom. I wish you luck, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. You know what? You want well, one thing more? Hey. Okay, no cameras. Okay, no okay. cameras. On. I was here for 12 years, and nobody ever did tell me to move. No government, no cops, no nothing. I grew friends, me and my wife, everything. I have. But I don't pay to always. I don't pay to go. I just like the beach come fishing. Now the guy's telling us that we cannot go here fish. You know, all my life will go for your fish. Now it's 12 years. I was on a man of the wrong side. Mm -hmm. They found Hawaiian bones on it. We tried get... to protect until they came and move it away, everything. They all of a sudden, last month, they came with signs, posters, tell us to get out. But that's a trip. Mm -hmm. For 12 years, I thought I owned the place. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <coughs> it was a trip, man. Those are the people that should have been serving us the papers. And that's what I told them. You know, when they first served me the papers, I took the papers. Then when I did the research and I found out who, what, when, where, and why, the second time they came back and I said, well, I'm not going to take your paper. Because this is not your jurisdiction. And it's all a matter of jurisdiction. Okay, okay. Okay. Yeah, it's all a matter of jurisdiction. And they said, I am a law-abiding citizen. I believe in the law. And I believe that the law says that you're out of your jurisdiction because this is not, this is not your jurisdiction. You have no here. But they, they came back with another paper, and they had that guy Tom Bear, Bear on top. Yeah? 
his name. Everything that was served us was his name. And then that Bill 54, which they say that is so good for us, yeah, allows the state or the city to take our property. Tag it like they're going to do now. And there's only one guy on this, on this state that takes that. Take it all. You go to his place. And he can determine what is good and what is bad. And it was no good. What he, he can determine to throw away. And he's also going to determine whether he can give it back to me or not. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Whoa. Yeah. You know, and if, and, and if I had something of importance that I couldn't take off, yeah, and I say it's mine, and if I don't have the paperwork, say for instance I had a vehicle there, the paper, I don't have the paper. He can keep them. He can show more. He can do whatever he wants. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? There's nothing you can do about it. I mean, I put the car there for a long time. It didn't have paper. didn't run. It, 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 you know? But because I couldn't take it off, they take them. You know what I mean? I know. And they call that right. You know, and that Bill 54 gives them that right. You know, it's the same way, like I said, with that, with that uh, sprinter law, the paddle law. You know? Come here, man. I set the law. Oh, awesome. You know, the shame part about it is that these Holly boys, yeah, they were staying with me over here for a couple of days there when they came from Friday. They come from the mainland, we have five months. One boy is only five five days. And they and they preach the law to me. You know, I mean I, all my life I never knew I had that law. You know what I mean? See if I knew that law I'd i I'd, I'd, I'd use that law a long time ago. You know what I mean? But I'd be camping on the side of the road a long time ago and holding that. I guess that's why they don't like you do that because all the Hawaiians be doing that, you know. I know. You know, it's like it's the same thing. Like the kind of, what they call a kind of hospital? Queen's Hospital? Yeah. Yeah? What's Queen's Hospital? Queen's Hospital is made for uh, Hawaiian people. Mm -hmm. And if you go there, you know more money? They have to take care of you. But you know what they tell you? Yes. Hawaiian. Take care of Hawaiian. That's all they have. I'm fine. Wish you so much. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, you Mahama. too. Thanks, sir. Mahama. Thanks, sir. Thank you. Yeah. Hey, Channel 2. You guys are right too. It's channel 4. It's channel 2. Don't make that ass. It's channel 2. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Channel 4. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, that guy, man. Uh, Malika. No, that's not. Yeah, channel 9. Channel 9. Yeah, you know what? Because Malika comes here with us and play with us. Oh. Yeah, who came with us with you guys? The yeah, friend. So, the friend used to be with you guys. Uh, Stay with channel 2 now. Yeah, he was one thing one time and he with channel four and he came surf with us and he did box uh, I'll be right back. He bought content. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. And he came with a few guys. Money, the illegal way, mm -hmm. and I wouldn't be here. 
but I choose, you mean, not to go back to my old ways. You know, it's hard, but you know, I think I think it's hard in my, in my time. So. Spare time. Yeah, you know, just to break in with me. Yeah. You know? So I stay out of trouble and look what happens. Even though you stay out of trouble, you still get in trouble. You're on disability. I have sleep after I have such stroke. But you don't have disability payments. But the doctor told me I can die anytime in the sleep. He has a sleep apnea and he has a sleep Yeah, yeah. The people know that. But yet, she's still in big class. I mean, after I did all the plumbing and all. So, 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 so where is that? The back road from... Um, down Kalkama Street and the house is on, um, 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 a pool pool road. Yeah. Right in the corner. Yeah. I'm so sorry. It's the back road. Not right at the corner, but like, after the other lot. How did? Hi. Aloha, aloha. Hi, how did? What are you doing? You just it's, um, you know, I'm trying to share. Would it be okay if I can I um? Can can I ask you folks how things are going? I'm trying to I'm trying to share so people can see the real story yeah, of what's okay. happening out here. And he's gonna go over here. Oh okay. I'm gonna pull the tire. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. okay. Yeah. Who, who you represent? Um, I'm just by myself. My name is Laulani. Yeah. Laulani Teal. Yeah. Um, I work with you know I've been um, an activist and a peacemaker for about 20 years. Okay. So. I just want to, you know, I see a lot of stuff going on in the media that um, people say is not true, so I want to, you know, get the story from the people, you know, so okay. that people can know. Yeah. You know, you know, I get something to say about uh, uh, something uh, similar, similar, but totally different. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, what, I, what, what was brought to my heart was, um, my name is Moki, for, first of all, mm -hmm. and I re represent a transitional home in Makaha. And we have a coalition of small ministries that partner up together to minister and outreach to the people that we come to know as our friends. Oh. See, we're human beings. I was once in this situation, but now I, I am found. I have a better way of life. So in order for me to give back, I come and minister and encourage, support, and love the people. Yeah? Okay, the people that okay. I come to know as my personal friends. I wish I could help them. I wish the funding was there to help them, you know. But all we can do right now is continuously pray. Pray that God has a plan. God is the ultimate provider. He the one that will provide everything. But we have to turn our way to Him. And we cannot turn away from Him. Now, in another aspect, you know, um, pertaining to the government. The government, they have millions of dollars. To protect the whales, to protect the seals, to protect the turtles. But we don't have millions and millions of dollars to help support the people of the land. Mm -hmm. You know? Mm -hmm. We as native Hawaiian people and the turtles and the whales have more rights than the people. You know, not saying homeless people or drug addicted people or alcoholic people or mentally disabled people. The bottom line is we people of this land and the government pay so much more attention to issues to make themselves look good. But they're forgetting about the people. The mm. people is where it's at. It seems to me too, when I talk to some of the Hawaiians that are being evicted from here, while they were living here, they were protecting the whales and the turtles. Oh yeah. And they, because as part of just their natural aloha aina Amen. and their culture. Amen. Amen. We are stewards of the land. You know? Oh, of course the, the rubbish, the trash, yeah, is a big, big issue according to the state, according to Parks and Recreation Director. 
Yeah, but if they could have a pickup, they would certainly mm -hmm. do their part to make sure because they do. You know, they do. They do gather all the Opala. They do put it in a central location. But there's no pickup. No pickup. Mm -hmm. You know. Oh, they don't go as far as the park. Well, why don't you make it that you can go past the park? You know, you gotta go all the way to Yokohama to clean the bathroom anyway. You know, you gotta go past the park anyway. Why don't you send one truck to pick up the rubbish, pick up the tires, pick up the bulky item pickup? You know, we do it for the state, we do it for the city, we do it for the neighborhoods, the housing developments, the big, uh, the big uh, condominium establishments. You know, we get trash pickup. Yeah, why cannot the tax dollars go to? Send one truck out here to pick up the people's trash because they are good stewards of the land. They take care of the land. We malama the land. We love the land because the land take care of us. You know? Yeah. So why? Why? Oh, we don't do it past the park. Yeah? Oh, that was the latest. Oh, we don't take, pick up the trash past the park. Hello? You got to go all the way down to Yokohama for clean the bathroom. Send one truck for clean up the rubbish on the park. You know? It seems to me too that, that um, as far as that goes, so some people are saying that other people have come and just dumped stuff here too and then they get blamed for it. Amen. Yeah, I agree. I agree. That yeah. does happen a lot. Yeah, it I've does happen. I've seen go past my place. Yeah. Full of stuff. And just pull on the side of the road and dump all the Opala. Make the people look down. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Plus the dogs, the animals too. Oh, Brother Lani over here, he take care of all of the animals. But there's only so much shelter for the animals also, you know. We have, we have, we have uh, vocational training. You know, you wouldn't believe how much geniuses live the poverty life, the homeless life. We don't make it into the community. We cannot make it in society, you know, because society condemns us first, you know. You give us a chance. You love us. Support us. Encourage us. We will make a change, you know. But it's not going to happen overnight. The problem didn't happen overnight. And the solution is not going to happen overnight. But if we can take steps with the community support, with the government support, with the church's support, with the ministry support, together, if we can come together as a group, as a team, to plead our case to the governor, you know, and hopes that he could ask for more federal funding, you know, federal funding, state funding, put some of the animal stuff, the sanctuaries, put them to the people, you know, the people don't get nothing, oh, they're no good, they're good for nothing, they're always going to be like that, no sense out there, you know, they already condemn us before they try to help us, you know. You know, can I ask you, what do you think, um, you know, as a Hawaiian who works with a lot of Hawaiian community, you know, and, and given that, you know, and, and the public too, um, given that this is what they call ceded lands, right, that lands that were taken from the Hawaiian kingdom, yeah. um, and in the Admissions Act, what it says is that ceded lands are supposed to be used for the betterment of Native Hawaiians and the general public. Do you think this action right here is is it fulfilling that trust or is it, um, is it, you know, is this action, is this eviction um, for the betterment no. of Native Hawaiians and the general public no. at any way? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. We're not here. You guys not here. They're not coming over here to help the people. They're coming over here to make themselves look good. Yeah? Because they have to clean up the beach. Because it's an eyesore. You know? Help us to um, make it like it's not an eyesore. You know, the, the, that's what the Native Hawaiian, the Native Hawaiian Commission, you know, uh, Alulike, Office of Hawaiian Affairs, you know, they got all these issues and all these circumstances, but they're avoiding the bottom line, avoiding the bottom line, helping, ministering, encouraging, loving, and supporting the people of the land, mm. you know, when we can help the people, the people go in turn help themselves, and one human being at a time. I'm not talking homeless, I'm not talking addict, addict, addicted, I'm not talking alcoholism, I'm talking about the human race. Yeah? God, God love us all, no matter how high or how low. You know? 
he loved everybody regardless of race, creed, religion, you know, circumstances. He gonna love us to the bitter end, to the very end. You know? If we can have one voice added to another voice, added to mm -hmm. another voice, added to another group, to form a group, and then groups get together to form other groups, to have a community in the same thought, same mindset, same mission, same vision, same plan. It can work. Mm -hmm. It can work. Mm -hmm. I believe mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. yeah. And brother, do you do you feel as a member of the public, do you feel that this eviction is in any way helping the public? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've known them for seven yeah. years and they've become my friends. And I didn't really know how I to deal it. with them before. I would say hi and bye with them before. Mm -hmm. and so um, when you see your friends being suicidal and stressed out and not knowing what to do, that, that hurts. You know, mm -hmm. and this is, I don't want to blame, I don't want to blame the government, I don't want to blame the community, but I'm looking for a solution, yes. mm -hmm. okay, and a solution is that you look at this beautiful land we got here, and the only thing that's living there is kiabi, mongoose, rats, and mice, it could be farmed, it could do micro businesses, with all these skilled people out here. Each person out here has a skill. Mm -hmm. Most of them are retired. Mm -hmm. um, they've been roofers for 40 years. They've been plumbers, carpenters. They're past the stage where they're uh, used to society. Mm -hmm. And they have grandchildren, and they don't want to leave them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So the solution, the three, four points that God's put on my heart. One. Okay, how far are you, the community, right. from being homeless? One paycheck, two paychecks, three paychecks. Some may be 15, but if you don't have three paychecks and you don't have a home, what are you going to do? Mm -hmm. What are you right. going to do? The second question I like to ask is this. Do you care about the homeless, the poor, the, the, the ones that are broken hearted? Do you care? Most people say yes. The third question is that if you could help, would you? And most of us feel overwhelmed and they say yes, if I knew how. The fourth, we need a solution. It's like my brother said, a simple solution. I don't want to go to the government. Basically, I believe the government is already broke. They can't handle their own business. I'm not criticizing them. I want to go to the community. We have a million plus people in Hawaii, and if everybody gave $10, we could buy the land back for the people. We could set up farms and micro-businesses, put them and use their gifts and talents now, not next year, not 20 years from now. We don't have to fight the system. There's a solution already. Mm -hmm. If the community will come together. Mahalo. Thank you so much. What's your name? Laulani. Aloha. I'm Aloha. Okay. Aloha. Mm. God bless you. Okay. God bless you. You God too. You. Aloha. I'm Lani. Mm. Aloha, Lani. Mahalo for helping the animals too. Yeah. The, um, it's really sad, I think, that, that they're, they're telling people to go into shelters, but number one, the shelters no more space, and number two, they cannot take their animals. Yeah. What? What, is, what are they supposed to do? You know, give up their, their family? Well, there's one more thing. Hawaii has a lifestyle of living outside, not in little boxes. Yes. They don't have a lifestyle of living in little apartments. They love being out in the ocean and the weather. They're farmers. They're, they're not going to live in a little box. They're going to mm -hmm. not stay in the jail. Yeah. That's the bottom line. Yeah. Mahalo. Thank you so much, Lani. Okay, Hi, Jimmy. How are you today? Tired. Oh, I'm sure. I was just trying to... I get all my dog videos. That's okay. I no was worries. trying to get this all done to get all what I needed, what I needed for the dogs. Um, it was stress. We did it. Almost. We just got to get some plywood. <laughs> but um, we got it all pretty much. Oh, okay, okay. And actually what Danny was talking about, the guy cooking so that's what made me <laughs> that's what made me write the petition <laughs> and the letters to the governor. Um to see these families out here and the kids 
you know, um, and now I know that a lot of them is living harder. I, I just hope the kids get to go to school. Um, but because of this guy going and talking about um, killing himself, he said, you know, he had nowhere to go. And I said, damn, this thing cannot go that way. Um, so that's what made me write the petition and write the letters, get the letters from the people to let the governor know what's going on. Did you know him? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. And when Lanny actually told me the story, it hit me. And I said, no more. No, no more people want to die on this. Um, and so far, it's been good. Um, and he's a little better. I helped this guy kind of, so now he feels a lot better. He's not thinking of that like before. Um, I kind of stood by his side and kind of said, "Don't worry, we're gonna we're gonna get something." Well, I'll you know, Lanny's looking for to help to help you. I'll try to help you if I can. And so he kind of came strong again. But it was just so funny watching him when he came to me that, that maybe like a couple of days ago, and he knew this was gonna happen and he had nowhere to go, and he and he um he was good about it. I mean he seemed to have broken through it, you know. Um, he was actually trying to give me strength. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> you know, awesome. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. The, it, it's, um, people have told me that there have been a few suicides out here because of p them being evicted. Yes. The, um, the pressure. Yes. Yes. It, it gets bad. And even I was thinking about it, you know, I, even though I want to help the people, but I felt like, what about me? And I don't have nowhere to go. And I, but the only thing keep me going is my dogs. <laughs> the dogs I find, you know. And, uh, yeah, and when when I saw the dogs, they're really well cared for, and they're 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 healthy and strong. So you just people who um, leave dogs, or sometimes it sounds like people come out and abandon their dogs yes. out here yes. to just kind of take them out here to leave. Yes, yes, they do a lot of them, a lot of them, and I find really good dogs, a lot of beautiful good dogs, you know. And I and I glad that the ones I found that went to the SPCA, I glad that they found homes from all of them. <laughs> actually. I, all of my dogs that they took from me got homes, even my old one. <laughs> oh. So yeah, I had an old dog. <laughs> they, somebody adopted them. So I feel uh, that's what gives me the courage to go on and do what I do. And um, now it's a little harder, but uh, I'll get through it. And do um, if you know, given the, the given the community that has been here, and given that. People, um, you know, a lot of people don't really have a place to go. If you have the opportunity to build another community, would you do that? Yeah, I would probably be involved. Yeah, if it's a good community, yeah, I'm sure there's a lot of good people out there, you know. Um, just that we don't have anything. I heard the Big Island has and the Maui has, but we don't have any place to go, you know. Um, I don't know what's wrong. We're the main island and we don't have nowhere to go. <laughs> Look at the other islands, how they treat their people, you know. What they say, what they call us, the lowest of the lowest, mm -hmm. the newscaster said. And I, I feel so insulted by that. I really do. I feel that's how they look at us, as rubbish. You know, that's how it sounds to me when they say the lowest of the low. I heard it on Channel 4. You know, so what are they trying to mark us at, you know. Uh, we're people just like them.